What's going on guys, it's Jho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Trials of Osiris loot from last week on all three of my characters. Last week's Trials map was Asylum, another first time Trials map and to be honest Asylum is a really good small team map like for small team game modes, 3v3 game modes in general so it was pretty decent for Trials, a lot of close quarters combat at the top where a majority of the battles were fought but there's still some good lines of sight for sniping as well. So I'm going to show you guys my rewards from last week so let's get into it. Starting off on my first character on my hunter from the lighthouse chest we ended up getting ourselves a inward lamp adept. My teammate got an exotic Tycho Knight helmet there and my inward lamp came in at 310 the lowest possible value so pretty poor reward on that first one. For my trials bounties on my hunter still looking for an exotic in the silver tier for the first three, we get the usual stuff. For the silver tier, no exotic once again. And for the gold tier, we get an armor piece. So we get the wing, sun, vest, the chest piece at 303 with discipline and strength. With solar armor and sniper rifle ammo. Not the greatest stats for a solar armor chest piece. I'd prefer a night stalker or void armor on that one. Because I think Discipline Strength is actually a not bad build for Night Stalkers. Moving on to my next character on my Titan from the Lighthouse Chest. We ended up getting ourselves a Water Star Adept Hand Cannon with Motes of Light. And this one came in at 316 with Range Finder and Underdog as the perks. So a little bit better, 316 is pretty decent of a roll. I take that over 310 any day. And then for my bounties on my titan, we got more passage coins, motes of light, legendary marks. From my silver tier, we ended up getting unlucky once again with no exotic. And from the gold tier, my inventory ended up getting full from some of those engrams. So we ended up going to the postmaster and I ended up getting another water star, the normal version this time at 300 attack. So not the greatest gold tier drop on that one we got two water stars in total on my titan and then for my last character on my warlock from the lighthouse chest we ended up getting a reflection sum with four motes of light this time my gun came in at 313 with the third eye perk as the unique one on it so not the greatest drops from the lighthouse chest no exotics as well so a little bit unlucky on this week's lighthouse chest and then finally for my last set of bounties for that week, we ended up getting more passage coins, motes of light, legendary marks, blue engrams, and for the silver tier, no exotic once again, very unlucky for me. And for the gold tier, we got another armor piece, another chest piece, the wing sun vestments for the warlock with intellect strength, void armor, shotgun ammo. Not bad, actually pretty good perks, pretty good stats, and it came in at 306 as well, so... That was probably some decent gold tiers. At least we get armor pieces. I prefer getting armor over uh, some of the guns since the guns aren't really that good. Probably the best guns that you could probably get out of it is maybe the rocket launcher, the machine gun, stuff like that. But I already have uh, some of those already. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.